Previously on The Bill. That was totally embarrassing. We're not at work now. We don't have to put up with him. Marry me. You're serious. He can't make you lie for him. He's the father. If you bring Mickey back, I'll call off the dogs for good. Samina hasn't been here for the past fortnight, has she? You recognise her? And Merrick. Hey, you're in my space. Sorry. I said, DC, I wouldn't mind. How are you doing, Jack? You're all right, Duncan, yeah. yeah. Should have guessed it were you. <laughs> so I take it you all aren't just here for the coffee, then? Yeah, well, you've got the murder squad moving in. We've come to catch your killer. Which one? Duncan. Yeah. Jack, any news on the merit case? I had to hand it over to internal investigation. This is becoming a nightmare. Well, there's a possibility that she was pushed. Look, I wasn't anywhere near her. I need your help. We might have a truce, but I'm not going to cover for you in a murder investigation. Look, I've carried out my share of the bargain. I've organised getting Mickey Webb back. We can be best friends in the world as soon as you're cleared. He told you about internal investigations? Yeah. yeah. Have they established a time of death yet? All forensics can say at the moment is she came off the roof of the car park between 9 and midnight. You didn't get to me until quarter to 11. Where were you? You don't think I had anything to do with this? Debbie, look, I swear I never went anywhere near her. That's what you said last time. There is a problem. Well, don't think I'm going to give you another false alibi. Just, just give me five minutes. Let me organise this squad. I need you on board, Debbie. You are all that I've got. Happening here, isn't it? This madman kicked down my front door! That's enough! Okay, okay. I'm trying to find some of the kidnapped on the side of my house. You're right. Fortunately, my friend Mr. Zuffer was here. He me and beat me up. He wouldn't Mr. stop Zuffer's punching me. Friend. I assure you, he only used necessary force. He's a bounty hunter. They've got him looking for Samina. Hi, hi. Shall we get him a chair? Leave this to me now. Mr. Nothing Bunder is my about. witness. It was me that called you. I was simply trying to protect my friends. Maybe because I've done you for assault before. All right, maybe. we're going to need a statement. I want the book thrown at him. Rubbish like that should be in prison away from my daughter. All right, well, let's just hope he's got some idea of where your daughter is, Mr. Gundar. DCI Ross, Superintendent Tom Chandler. This is DCI Jack Meadows. How do you do? How do you do? Sorry to spring ourselves on you like this, but we couldn't wait another day at Barton Street. So I take it there's been a development in the river murders. Forensics have come up with interesting stuff. Well, it must be, going by the size of your team. Well, we're narrowing down our leads. The killer's definitely operating out of something. I'll get unpacked and bring you up to speed, eh? Yes, certainly. Would you excuse me for one moment? Chief Superintendent Henry, nice to see you again, sir. Can I contact you? I need a word about Anne Merrick's death. I take it I'm not under arrest, sir. Not at the moment. But I thought I'd interview you at Tintagel House. So, if you'd like to step in. Tony, have you decided yet? Decided what, Jim? Well, whether you'll say anything about me in June. Yeah, I reckon so. If you're going to keep hassling me, I'm warning you. If you ruin this for us... I asked if he'd made up his mind. In other words, you made things worse. I thought you said this was all sorted. We were friends again. I'll have another word. No, I think we've done enough damage already. I'm in court with Tony this afternoon. Leave him to me. Duncan, isn't it? That's right. Are you D.S. Nixon? Acting inspector at the moment. Oh, inspector. Let me give you a hand. Cheers. Where do you want them? Screw there. So what's the latest on the river murders? Well, all I know is that forensics have found something and the governor's briefing is at 10 o'clock. Anything else on Miriam Rowe? Sorry. I can't help it. Um, I studied forensic psychology. 
Ah, a trained profiler. Pity you're not in a team. Gary, we're on our way to Nick Dwayne Morris for shoplifting. Oh, not again. Listen, can I um, have a word? I'll catch you up. OK. In it. OK. Hello, gorgeous. Duncan, I heard you were back. Yeah, I couldn't stay away. I was missing you. <laughs> you certainly look the part. Enjoying it? Yeah, well, I don't want to knock ordinary police work, but uh, once you get involved with murders, different ballgame. How's everything else? Perfect. My divorce has come through. I'm footloose and fancy free again. Yay! See ya. Hey, Sam. Duncan. It's a shame to waste all those profiling skills. I could maybe let you know what's happening. I look forward to it. Good. See ya. See ya. I forgot to kiss you this morning. Couldn't wait to the end of the shift. This is going to take ages. There's no point both of us hanging about. I think I'm going to sit around here. No, you go. I'll wait with him. As long as you leave the car. Cheers. See you later. Yeah, can't wait. We know the Gundars are forcing her into a marriage. Oh, she was a prisoner in her own home. She might as just slip out and come to me. So where's Samina now? If I knew that, I wouldn't have kicked the door in. Let's hope she's hiding somewhere. Think, Kev, have you got any ideas? Of course I have. I'm stuck here with you. Well, then let me go and find her. Oh, you won't even get close. Listen, I have a good idea of where she'll be, but you'll have to take me with you. Forget it. I can't drive about with a prisoner. It'll be two minutes tops, right? Are you forgetting about the state of your ribs? <laughs> My ribs, and I'll do what I like. We're checking one place on the way to the neck. I mean it, Kevin. Any false moves? That goes for you, too. I nicked him. I wouldn't have thought so. There's no proof that he did it. Did he say anything about Anne Merrick? Not a word. You're up to your neck in this as it is. I warned you what he was like. Never mind having his child. He told me he didn't go anywhere near her. He was having a drink with me before it happened. I didn't know that. Yeah, he was acting strangely about Anne when he left. Said he was going to sort his life out. All I know is he came to my place later on. Well, he left me at about half past nine. I'm not sure what time it was exactly. If you're bailing him out with a second alibi, I'd say he was lucky to have a girl like you. Look, this could be a murder investigation. What time did he arrive? Not till quarter to eleven. Did he say where he was? No, he didn't. Doesn't mean he did it. Oh, come on, Debbie. He's missing for an hour. He's already told me there's a problem. Now, if you know anything, you want to think about that child of yours? That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Look, I'm warning you. Don't let him take you down with him. Uh, Superintendent, I should warn you, we're currently checking CCTV footage of the multi-storey car park. Go ahead, sir. I wasn't anywhere near Anne Merrick. If she'd made a false rape allegation against me, I'd have wanted to have a word with her. Find out why she lied. The woman obviously had psychological problems. I wasn't going to lay myself open to any more grief. Trouble seems to be following you around, doesn't it? So, what time did you leave DCI Meadows? About 9.30. I'd arranged to visit DS McAllister in her flat. What time did you get there? About 10.45. I was driving down Back House Lane. I stopped to help a guy who had a puncture. Someone you knew? No, nope, never seen him before. His name was Jeff. The reason I stopped to help him change a tyre is that he was disabled. Did you take his registration details? No. It was a silver grey MPV. So, you couldn't have pushed Anne Merrick off the roof because you were changing a tyre for a disabled driver whose car registration, address and surname you're unaware of. I'm sorry, Superintendent, but you'll have to do a lot better than that. The killer's been careful not to leave behind any clues until now. But the news from forensics is a possible MO is developing. As we know, Miriam Ray's hair was hacked off and her skin covered in white spirit. Forensics now tell me the body was scrubbed with some sort of sponge. So her killer's cleaning up after himself. Because Miriam's body was scrubbed with white spirit, 
I've obtained permission from the family to have Tina Pope's body exhumed and re-examined. We should have the results later this morning. So now we have a pattern. Our victims are abducted, tortured, strangled and cleaned before they go in the river. Have forensics got anything on our killer? Unfortunately not. All the girls were in the water between two days and a week, which means any clues like fibres were washed away. Any signs of sexual intercourse? No, but that doesn't mean the motive wasn't sexual. So moving on to our suspects. Tina Pope witnessed the stabbing and was a victim of a violent husband, Jason Pope. Liz Chambers was victim of a violent relationship with boyfriend Shane Pellow. Her father assaulted him and went to trial. Miriam Ray was a victim of Brian Kirby, a flasher who stalked her and later broke into her flat. Kirby's convicted. Pope and Pello, we're going to bring them in again, Gov? Not unless we can dig up some new leads, which is why we need to concentrate on victimology. Liz, Tina, Miriam, what did they have in common? Now, it may be a coincidence, but the main link between all our victims is Sunhill, Nick and the courts. Gov. The place is not the same since I've left. <laughs> oh, I can quite believe that. Kev? Feeling better? It's all right, he's Kevin. Sabina here. She's out looking for you. Where have you been? I let her sleep here last night. I've been round your flat three times. No, it wasn't safe to go back there. Did she say where she was going to look for me? She was trying to school first, check if her mates had seen you. We'd better get over there. We said we'd check here and that's it. So far's bound to have someone watching the school. Are you one of Samina's relations? No, TDC Kane, Sunhill. Kevin's currently under arrest. This is my old form to Amandi. I'll explain later. We'd better go. If Safar finds her first, he'll beat her up. You should have kept her here. I tried to, but when you didn't show up, she thought Safar had nabbed you. Be quiet a minute. Hey, Cathy. Oh, still stuck at the hospital. I don't know, problems with the x-ray machine. We could be another hour. I still haven't forgiven you for punching the Klein. Any more funny business and I'll have you. Martin. Dwayne's been helping himself to trainers again. His social worker has requested he see a solicitor. Do you want to see him now? That's the general idea. Sarge, you like any more with them? Give me a shout. Isn't this cosy? The two of us reunited. How are you, Martin? Fine. You're still sleeping with PC Klein? That's enough. You the arresting officer? Yep. Then I look forward to seeing you in the interview. Going on my own. No chance. It's like with Samina. Her mates will think you're on a parent's side. Forget it, Kevin. Look. We'd better get out of here. At least we know if I haven't got her. That's just what I didn't need. Right, we're going straight to the Nick. There's one more place you can be. Sorry, I can't risk it. I've stuck my neck out enough as it is. Straight up, I swear it's on the way. Forget it, Kevin. You've already told you made it be another half hour. I said no. I can't face anything. You need to keep your strength on. All right. I'll have a sandwich. I'm trying to find Superintendent Chan. Uh, well, he's out at the moment. I'll tell him you're looking for me for Sam. Hmm. Perhaps if he hasn't been arrested. I'll see you later. Yeah. You noticed anything about McAllister? I'd say she's putting on more than just a bit of weight. Nah, she's not the type to get up the duff. It might ruin her chances of promotion. <sighs> what a morning. How's it going with Dwayne? Oh, we had one of his no-comment interviews. He started saying it rap style. <laughs> Wouldn't be so bad if his brief wasn't such a pain. I'm stuck with Gammon. Because that lot got all the chicken and mushroom pie. <sighs> What's the salt, please, Jim? Certainly, Tony. Mind if I join you? How'd the briefing go? Strictly between me and you. Guide's honour. Yeah. We just got the forensic results. Tina Polk's body had been scrubbed in white spirits, just like Miriam Ray. This killer's forensically aware. All right, you'll solve this case before we do. Mm. If you ask me, I'd say love is in the air. I hope not. Because it never works out for both of the job. Yeah, thanks, Tony. So what happens next? 
Find out more about Miriam Ray. Maybe. Listen, yeah. if you've got any more ideas, we could discuss it over a drink. Eh? <laughs> hey, guys, there's overtime coming up. Get your names down if you fancy it. Cheers, Duncan. That's just the good news. The bad news is you'll need your wellies. <laughs> I hope you've not been given any information away. Of course not, Gov. Just trying to fix up a wee date, that's all. You're here to make a statement, Mr Gundar? Too right, I am. I'd like to know what the hell is going on. If you'd explain. Mr Gundar would like to know why Kevin Hooper isn't under arrest. Well, he is. He's uh, receiving treatment at the hospital. Then why was he driving around with the other officer? With TDC Kane. They were at the school looking for my daughter. I've just spoken to him at the hospital. I've just seen them with my own eyes. Please, try to calm down. It, it, hang on. Are, are you saying that you saw TDC Kane with Kevin Hooper outside Samina's school? Yes, I was a witness to it. Mr Gunder wants to make an official complaint and to have your assurance that TDC Kane is no longer involved with the case. Mickey, how you doing? That's where I'm now. Yeah, I'm in the murder squad. So when you come back to Sunhill? Just on that, can I have a word? Oh, wait, hold on, someone wants to talk to you. Mickey, I'll be in a minute. It's Roberto. Coming back to Sunhill, yeah. OK, right, I've got to go. All right, don't come watch you back. I'll see you soon. All yeah. right. Mickey, I'll call you later. Where are you? Excellent. Take it, that's the murder squad. The nerve of some people. Can you believe this guy showing his face round here again? I'd like to report a missing phone call. Go on. Well, after my article on PC Stamp, I thought my favourite female officer would be ringing to take me for a drink. I might have called you to tell you to drop dead. All you did was put right the mess you made in the first place. Oh, come on, you can't still be crossing me. You just used me to get information on Tony. Yeah, me and all. So if there's nothing else... I'm doing a double-page spread on the river murders. That's your problem. I'll speak to Jim Carver. Perhaps he'll remember what a big favour I did you. I'll come straight away, sir. What my neighbours? I doubt it. Just been someone to Tintagel House. Chief Superintendent Henry wants a statement from me. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. He probably just wants to check what time the super got to your flat. a murder charge. Well, the only way you're going to help him is by telling the truth. Don't mess me about. Where the hell is Brandon? I'm hardly going to cover for him when he's made a mug of me. I thought he was doing me a favour waiting in the hospital. So he's driving round with an injured prisoner looking for a runaway girl? I'll give him another call. No, you leave it to me. She's obviously not here. Get back in the car, Kev. Just hang on a minute. What's all this? It's a dead letter drop. I've got the idea from a spy film. Why? Oh, can't call round the house. We're old man's as bad as safaris. That's where we sit and talk. It's our bench. Lovely. We even carved our names in to prove it. We've just missed her. She's asking what time we can meet her later. Hey, you're not meeting anyone. You're going to be in a cell. Kane. We're just leaving the hospital now, Sarge. Samina's school. I'm on my way, Sarge. Trouble. With a capital T. What time can you meet Samina? About two o'clock. I'm not in a cell with you. Something you wanted to say, Superintendent? This doesn't concern D.S. McAllister, sir. She's helping us with our inquiries. How would you describe the Superintendent when he arrived at your flat? He was the same as usual. Did he look as if he'd been doing any physical work? No, not that I could see. He left DCI Meadows at 9.30. Did he say where he'd been? No, he didn't. 
He didn't mention changing a tyre for a disabled driver called Jeff on Backhouse Lane. Backhouse Lane? No. How would you describe the superintendent's attitude towards Anne Merrick? He wasn't too keen on her, especially after the false allegation. Did he discuss Anne Merrick with you? Just that he knew her from his Hendon days and that she suffered from depression. Right. I think that's all we need for the moment. Interview concluded. 11.47. How's everything with the baby? Yes, fine. Can't be easy having the father of your child investigated like this. No, it's not, because he didn't do it. If I was in your shoes, I'd want to believe that too. You've got my number, if you need it. I'm thinking of charging him. For some trainers? The store detective says Dwayne threatened her. I'm waiting to see what it looks like on CCTV. You're wasting my time. Take a seat, Mr Porter. Mm. Kathy, look after Kevin, will you? Brandon. Look, we weren't at the school. We've just come from the hospital. Have you any idea how stupid you've been? I'm sorry, Sarge. It was on the way back to the Nick. I know it's no excuse, but Kevin was sure should be there. Yeah, you're right, there's no excuse. Which is why the Gundars have taken out a formal complaint against you. Well, I'm pretty sure Samina's life could be in danger. Well, then you've just made things worse, because now you're off the case. Lie to me like that again. This is bigger than you know. Gamal Zafar is a bounty hunter. So? You're supposed to be working with me, you're not a criminal like Kevin Hooper. He's not as bad as you think. Oh, do you want to look at his charge sheet? Burglary, assault, shoplifting. Well, then he's obviously changed. Oh, they never change. Samina's life could be in real danger here. What are you trying to say? That her dad wants to kill her? Well, now that he knows about Kevin, it's a possibility, <laughs> yes. Asian girls have been murdered in the past by their families, you know, for having relationships with guys like Kevin. The way I see it, the Gunders are just trying to be good parents. Well, you obviously don't understand the culture like I do. And you don't understand villains like Kevin Hooper like I do. Give me a Just remember what the T in TDC is for. Trainee, Detective Constable. How do you get on Chief Superintendent Henry? Not too good. He's hinting at something. Is that it? You hear about Tom's alibi? Yeah. Helping a disabled driver with a tyre on Backhouse Lane. Or why is he driving through a red light district? Yeah, I know. Look, I can't sit around here doing nothing. Is it right to check this out? Come on, we'll go in mine. This court case is the last thing I need today. Beyond me why he wants to press charges. I bet he was cottages, cost him his wife and kids. That's why I want to see these gay bashers put away. Mind you, it's a hell of a way to come out of the closet. I hear you weren't very happy about the article. No. No, that was fine. It was Jim using it to try and buy me off that I didn't like. Let me explain what's going on. Then perhaps you'll feel differently. All right. So long as it's the truth this time. Yeah. I was trying to keep things quiet because... I want to see how things go before it becomes common knowledge. All Jim would do is let you down. There are plenty of other blokes out there far better than he is. Give their right arm to be with you. What, I, what are you saying? Are you trying to blackmail me into not having a relationship? If that's what it takes. Oh, well, never mind about Jim. If you spoil this for us, you're going to have me to deal with. So, you admit to assaulting Mr Gundar after you kicked the door in? I didn't mean to hurt him. I just pushed past... Push Mr Gundar out of the way? Because of what they're trying to do to Samina. Well, you can ask Brandon if you don't believe me. And what happened when you were in the house? I looked for Samina. I couldn't find her. Then Mr Gundar and Kamal Safar grabbed me and they... They asked you to leave? No. 
They beat me up. Do you want to make a complaint? There's no point. Cos like her, no one would believe me. That's well, not surprising, Kevin. What with your record? Look, as soon as I'm holding my hand up with this, is there any chance of bail? I wouldn't hold your breath. Not when you're sitting on a suspended sentence. But I've been out of trouble for over eight months now. Doesn't make any difference. Now you've assaulted Mr Gundar. What I'd say you'd be looking at serving the full two years. Having spoken with your colleagues, DCI Meadows and DS McAllister, I have further questions to put to you. Well, having consulted with my solicitor, I'm not willing to answer them. However, I would like to read out a prepared statement. At the time of Anne Merrick's death, I was assisting a disabled driver called Jeff in Backhouse Lane. I've nothing further to add except to officially request that you attempt to find this driver. Thank you. The more you can tell us, the more chance we'll have of locating him. So if you wouldn't mind starting at the beginning. I'd still like to know what he was doing around here. Well, it's not as if he's been a saint in the past. All right, leave it. Look, I'm sorry, but he's just not good enough for you. And that's for bringing up a child. Angie, let's ask her. Angie, I need a word. It's important. I don't see enough here to charge Dwayne with threatening behaviour. No, me neither. I guess I'll just caution him and get him out of here. But it's worth a try. Just to wipe the smile off Martin's face. I'm worried about him bumping into Luke. There is nothing he'd like more than to tell him about me and Nick. But it was a one-night stand, so even if he didn't know... Then he'd be about the only one who doesn't. As defence barristers go, he's got to be the best. You know, it almost got to the point where he questioned my sexuality. He was just pressing the buttons, waiting for me to lose my temper. Cut the tea. Oh, I'd love one. You didn't have to hang around for me, you know. Well, I thought after our honourable friend had finished, you might need cheering up. You see, this is what I don't understand. You and me have been mates for such a long time, so... Yeah, I'm sorry. I was out of order. Yeah, that's a bit of an understatement. I'm not going to say anything. I can see that you've got feelings for him. If Jim's the one you really want, then... Thanks, Tony. Well, I've got to say sorry to Jim, too. I mean, things have been a bit difficult lately, but I shouldn't take it out on him. Oh, I'm delighted to hear it. I, I, and, you know, all that thing with the local paper, he only had your best interests at heart. Yeah, I owe him an apology. Jim and we, we go back a long way, too. But if he ever lets you down... Samina, it's all right, I'm a police officer. I'm not going to hurt you. TDC Kane, Sun Hill Community Safety Stay Unit. away from me, I'm not going to come any closer. Just hear me out. I was with Kevin all morning. So where is he? He went to your parents' house looking for you. He kicked the door in. I had to arrest him. I was with Kevin when he left you the note under the bridge. How do I know you didn't beat him up and make him put it there? Look, I'm ready to turn and leave right now, but you have to promise me you'll go straight to the station. OK, stay on the balcony. I'm parked just below. Watch me drive away. There's no one else here. Take this. Get a taxi. Go to reception. Ask for TDC Kane. Samina, I promise you, I'm on your side. Come on. You start the briefing. You know the area better than me. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I want you to concentrate on Jubilee Wharf all the way down to River Mill Lane. 
Here, Tony, take one, pass them on. Ask the locals the usual. Ask them if they've seen anything suspicious, especially anyone hanging about at night. But don't forget, show them the victim's photo. On this list, you'll find details of the victim's clothing that they were last seen in. There are still one or two things that the family say are still missing. Are there any questions? Yeah, you keep saying you. Does that mean you're not coming with us? I'm going off with the squad. I'm following up other leads. Oh, uh, you mean you don't want to get your feet wet? Ah. Right, a guy who lives around the corner from Shane Pellow has just called in. He is sure the night Liz Chambers went missing, a red car was circling the area around 6pm. He reckons it was a saloon and a bit of an old banger. <coughs> Great. Well, let's get to Jubilee Wharf and find out if anyone's seen it, yeah? Let's go. What you need to do is go to the end of the road, by the trees. It's there on your left. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Excuse me, has a Kevin Hooper been arrested? Yeah, he's waiting to be interviewed. Are you a friend of Mr Hooper's? Who's dealing with the case? PC Bradford. Do you have a TDC cane? Yeah, um, I'll give him a call, take a seat. It's all right, I'll wait by the door. All right, thanks a lot. Well, she was working here last night and she hasn't seen him either. Let me ask Angie again. You're wasting your time, Debbie. I've got a good mind to nick you. Business hasn't been good. I needed a fix. Well, next time I want a word, I want a word. What are you coming heavy with me for? All that help I gave you when you was looking for that runaway girl? I'm sorry, I've got a problem. Don't take it out on me. Do you know my governor, Superintendent Chandler? I've seen him at the nick. He's never done business. All right, last night, half nine, were you working? Yeah, I was out. Did you see him along here changing a tyre? Nah, sorry. OK, listen. A punter named Jeff, a disabled guy. Do you know him? Never seen him. Are you sure about that? I don't know. No, Jeff. OK. How's your baby? Yeah, great. Just started walking. You're scaring the punters away. OK. You're right. He's lying. He wasn't here. Is this TDC Kane? Yeah, but you can ask him that yourself. It's OK, Robbie. Samina. I know what's going on. But let's go in here. Is Kevin in a lot of trouble? It doesn't look good. It looks like he's going to be charged with assaulting your father. But you've only done that to try and save me. From what? My dad's trying to force me to marry someone I've never even met. Someone in Pakistan. He's meant to be my ideal man. Wealthy, religious and from a good family. And I suppose your father's given his word. Yeah. And him and Kamal Zafar are going to make sure I go through with it. Give me one moment. Martin's looking at the tape of Dwayne now. He'll think you've been stolen to keep him hanging about. Yeah. I'm still going to try and charge Dwayne, though, if I can persuade the inspector. What's up with you? Simon's been in. Mm, take it you had words. No, I just can't get rid of the guy. Oh, Cass. Look at the way you're letting him get to you. Are you sure this is what you want? Well, my head says it's balmy, but my heart says he's a bit of all right. <laughs> so she's here now? She's safe. I've got her in the front interview room. I'll make a few calls, see if I can get her a place in the women's refuge. Brandon, cheers. I owe you a big star. OK. Nothing you could do about getting me bail. Kevin, I'm not supposed to be here now. I'm sitting on a suspended. I've, I held my hands up for the assault. I could go down for two years. I'm off the case. I've been in trouble for over eight months. Ever since I met Samina. I wouldn't hold out much hope. I'll see what I can do. Hey. Brandon, a word. Yeah, I'm, I need to ask you something anyway. Better be good. Samina's just walked into the front office. Oh, really? Wouldn't have anything to do with you, would it? All right, Kevin told me where she was and I went and found her the point. In and other she words, said... you won't be on my back again. Oh. Look, Brandon, remember, you're off the case. Now, put out. I'm going to go and charge Hooper. Yes, please. I can understand. And him hiding something from internal investigations. Well, why not tell me where he was? 
how it looks like the father of my child will be charged with murder. Look, if he does hit the fan, I'll try and keep you out of it. It might not be that easy. There's something else, isn't there? Tell me now, and I might be able to do something about it. The alibi I gave him for the rape of that Merrick. Don't tell me it's dodgy. He had been round there. He was desperate. I'm sure he hadn't done it. Right, well, forensics cleared him of rape, so it's not too bad. Well, it's not too good either. Now this alibi doesn't stand up in Back House Lane, does it? You won't tell anyone? Of course not. You swear? I swear. But all I'm trying to do is look after you. Thanks for your help, Gov. I'm going to go and see if anyone knows anything. DCI Meadows. I'll come over and make a statement. Hi, enjoy the film. So, not just a two-timing bitch, but useless at her job, too. I say I have enough to charge him. This is about wasting my time. It's rubbish, and you know it is. Oh, don't flat yourself. And don't you get clever with me. Oh, get off, Martin. This is wasting my time. Then get off me! What's going on? One of your lovers to the rescue. I'm her boyfriend, actually. You know, Martin, he's representing Dwayne. You don't half get through them. First PC Klein, now this one. She'll end up having the whole station. What? You didn't know? She could be onto the next one already. She two-timed me by sleeping with Nick Klein. Just leave her alone, all right? Now, I think you should apologise. To her? <laughs> I said you should apologise. I'm sorry. Happy now? <laughs> I'll see you later. Hey, it's to do with Hooper, the answer's no. Look, I've spent quite a bit of time with him recently. Tell me about it. Hello, Sasha Ackman speaking. Samina has asked to be booked into a refuge. Now, she's going to need someone to take care of her. Yeah, her parents. No, Cathy, they're the very people she's trying to hide from. I don't know why you've got against them. Well, like I said, you don't know the culture like I do. Or maybe I respect it a bit more. Hooper's not getting bail. And a story. Thank you. How'd it go in court? The victim gets his nose broken because he's cottaging. His wife finds out and dumps him when he presses charges. The attacker gets 18 months suspended. <laughs> Charming. How was Tony? Uh, not only is he agreed not to say anything, but he wants to make up with you. So he owes you an apology. Well, you were right. He must have needed the gentle touch. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Gundar, PC Bradford. Samina's just walked to the station. <laughs> it's dark when our killer dumps the bodies, so it's possible he's left something behind. Anything our victims might have been strangled with, rope, bits of clothing, doesn't matter how insignificant it seems, get it in an evidence bag. All right, then, let's line up. In other words, we're going to clean up the whole of the riverbank. Yeah, all right, Tony. What's up with you? Just over there is where I came to identify Miss James' body. It wasn't a pretty sight. 17 years old, what a waste. All right, then, let's go. Sir, we're having our photo taken. No falling in the mud, then. I don't want us in the local rag looking like the Keystone Cops. Sir, I think I've found some sort of necklace. Has the super been arrested? No. Still haven't enough to charge him, so he's just left. I went up to Backhouse Lane. None of the girls had seen him. Hmm. 
His alibi isn't holding up, Jack. My problem is proving he killed her. Chandler's slippery, all right. Which is why, if there's anything else you can tell me? Well, no, not at the moment. Well, if you do hear anything, because if he's guilty, he's going down for it. Why don't you go over there, make it up with him? Look, he helped me out in the end. Take him over a tea. It's not worth it. I'm the one that he dropped in here, and I'm fine with it now. Go on. Yeah, maybe you're right, Tony. Thanks. Sir, the street cleaner hasn't seen a red saloon driving about. Mm. All right, then. Go get yourself a cup of Where's my tea? Say that one. I'll get another. Hope you've got some good ones of me. They'll be useful for the article. It was a joke. I've got you the copper. Thanks. So, did you find anything promising? You don't even try to hide it, do you? That's all you were ever interested in. Yeah, that's right. And I was kissing you, I was thinking, I wonder what Keisha's working on next. Wouldn't surprise me. Look, can't we go for a drink or something and try and get over this? All right. I want an apology first. Uh, you should be saying sorry to me. Forget it, then. <laughs> Not so fast. This car of yours is seeing better days, hasn't it? Well, you're going to write me a ticket? You've got a broken indicator light here for a kick-off. Do you mind stepping off the car, Mr Kitson? I can only stay a minute. There's nothing I can do about bail. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. Thanks for trying. OK. Where's Samina now? Sitting in reception, waiting till I finish. Cheers. I need to be out there looking after her. What does your brief say about bail? Yeah, he reckons he can swing it at the magistrates. Mm. He will take care of her. Don't worry, Kev. I'll make sure she's safe. Cheers, Sergeant. Well, you filled enough evidence bags. Yeah, whether it belongs to the killer or the victim, we don't know. We also found mud, <laughs> and lots of it. <laughs> don't worry, we'll do your dirty <laughs> work for you. <laughs> Listen, we didn't find anything new about Miriam, but there's been a sighting of a red car hanging about around the time that Liz Chambers disappeared. Cheers, Duncan. Look, let me know if you turn anything up. Are you sure we can't discuss this over a bottle of wine? I'd love to, but I've got to go and pick my daughter up. Okay. Maybe another night. Yeah, all right. Oi, someone move this van! Oh. Consulted my inspector, we won't be charging Dwayne. He'll be bailed and issued with a caution. That's because, as we both know, there was never any evidence. He doesn't look like a happy bunny. I'll get Dwayne and we can sort out the paperwork. Come on, if he's coming back, it's his welcome home party. Come on, people! The welcome home party! Oh, forget the party. I'm gonna buy Mickey a present yourself. Sorry. You'll be making my pies. I'll keep my mouth shut, but for June, not for you. Oh, come on, Tony. I thought you and June had sorted it. A word of advice. You miss June about. I'll miss with you. I warn you, if you ever try and waste my time like that again... Oh, don't let me keep you. Mind you, I don't suppose you can help being incompetent. Well, she's far too good for you, though. That's why she dumped you, innit? Hero to the rescue again. Yeah, that's right. Hey. I look forward to seeing you again. Yeah, well, next time you want to have a go at someone, all right? <laughs> Come on. Listen, I knew about Nick. You know what this place is like. I've been panicking. It might change things. Of course not. But I took that on board before I asked you out. Look. As long as you don't think I'm a slapper. Hey, hey, just... hey, 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 no. Listen, we all make mistakes. I've done loads of things in my life that I'm not proud of. I thought you might not like me anymore. <laughs> no, if anything, it's made me realise how much I love you. Come here.
What were you doing at Tintagel House? Chief Superintendent Henry wanted me to make a statement. Go on. I didn't tell him anything. Just that you got to my flat at course to 11. He's suggesting you gave him something. He's trying it on. He did that with me. I've been to back house lane trying to put you in the clear. So, one of the girls must have seen me. They all said you weren't there. And they didn't see a disabled guy either. This is the second alibi that hasn't checked out. You told me this morning there was a problem. The problem was my alibi was weak. Henry interviewed me before I could talk to you and get you to find Jeff. Deb. Why do you think I asked you to marry me? You're all I've got. This baby could be the making of me. Of us. Why do you think I said yes? It was a surprise to me as well. That's why I need you to believe me. I don't know what to believe anymore. Can you give this to Superintendent Chandler? Sure. Can I ask who left it? Jeff, with thanks. He'll know where I am. Forget about that Simon if I was you. He's not worth it. Well, he did have a point. It was a good article on Tony. I wouldn't kid myself. All he's after is another juicy story. <laughs> Suck the juggler! It's not funny. I'd love to buy a new one. I'd stick it in the bin and say nothing. Keep me mouth shut. <sighs> you don't think Chandler will find out? Well, I'm not going to say anything. Oh. Watch the glass. Looks like Kevin might get bail in the morning. You're going to be all right in the refuge? Yeah, as long as I'm away from my parents. Go! We gotta go! Come in here! Go! Out! Go! Come on! Go! Come on! Don't struggle! Go! Go! You all right? Don't mind that. Put a call out. Put a call out! How the hell did they know she was here? On the bill. Did I really hear that right? I'm arresting you on suspicion of a conspiracy to abduct Samina Gunda. That's enough. I'll withdraw permission for you to use this interview. Don't even try it. If this is your idea of a truce, I'd rather go back to the way we were. It's either Jack Meadows or me. He's right under our noses, girl.